Hello engineers, in this video we will compare Azure and AWS services in order to understand how we can migrate from one cloud to another. If you enjoy my content and you want to support me for free, press the like button and subscribe on my channel. The first category that we will examine will be compute and in more detail we will examine how we can create virtual machines on both clouds. When we navigate in Azure portal we can search for virtual machines and we can go and create our instances. However, in the Amazon portal we should search for the EC2 instances and then we should go and create our virtual machine by launching a new instance. The second compute service that we can migrate from Azure to AWS and reverse will be the Function App which is a serverless component that can scale on cloud. In order to locate this functionality in Azure, we must search for Function App. On the other hand, on AWS, we should search for Lambda Functions and we must pretty much do the same things on both services. In the same category as the previous services, we can add the Logic Apps on Azure, which are serverless components that can be created from a GUI. The same functionality is given on AWS using the AWS step functions. In order to store certificate and secrets in Azure Cloud, we should use a key vault. This gives us the functionality combined and it's a safe place to store those sensitive data. On the other hand, when we use the AWS Cloud, we should use the ASM, which is the secret manager and for credentials, we should use the ACM, which is the Certificate Manager service that we can use to securely store this sensitive data. A common place to store storage files would be the storage account on Azure. And on the other hand, we have the AWS S3 buckets, which is described as scalable storage in the cloud. The Azure Web App or App Service will provide us a functionality to create our websites quick and easy and host them in a managed way on Azure Cloud. On the other hand, in order to host our websites on AWS, we could use the Elastic Beanstalk on which we have a managed way to host our websites on AWS. When we want to migrate from one cloud to another, we should have a place to store our data. So the database services that are provided from both clouds can support our application. There are many flavors that can be used from the end user, such as managed databases or not. In Azure, for example, we have the Azure databases for MySQL servers. We have the SQL server databases, Azure databases for Postgres, and also we have the Cosmos DB databases, which is a document database created from Azure. On the other hand, on AWS, by filtering with the database filter, we can find the Amazon DocumentDB, which is a fully managed MongoDB compatible database. We have DynamoDB, the RDS, which is a managed relational database service, and also some other specific offerings created from AWS in specific cases. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you are using AWS or Azure Cloud.